So let's say that you have a chain link fence, such as this one. It could be five foot, six foot, four foot, seven foot, eight foot, 12 foot. And you just wish that it had a little bit more privacy because this right here doesn't offer a lot of uh, privacy for when you're walking around your backyard in your birthday suit. We're gonna show you an option so that you can gain some privacy out of your chain link fence, but there are some things that you should know before you do something on your chain link fence. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to transform this six foot chain link fence into a privacy chain link fence. I found them. Had I had opened the top of the bag, I would have seen the pink piece of yarn and found my bottom locking slat channel at the very beginning instead of digging through the whole entire bag. First thing that you need to do is you need to install the bottom channel. It comes in three pieces like this for the brand that we are installing right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and figure out where it ends at and I'm gonna feed it through. I'm gonna feed it through right where that tension wire would go. We're gonna take one slat out. One end is cut flat, the other end is angled and it has a notch in it. It doesn't matter which way this goes, it doesn't matter if it goes to the inside or to the outside because there's a rib on each side of that channel, but the notch does need to go down because it locks into the bottom lock and it locks in just like that. Because once you put it in, you can't pull it back out. Now when you do something like this, you wanna be careful. There's this thing out there that in Wyoming, especially that we call wind and if you put slats in your fence and your fence doesn't have the meat and potatoes to handle that new wind load, what you're doing is you're changing the wind load of the fence, so the surface area. You're converting this now into a wall and this is gonna be more affected by the wind because now you're creating more of a barrier and wind cannot pass through as easily as it could when it was just a chain link fence. So if you're gonna, install these in a six foot chain link fence and you have 16 weight pipe and you live in a windy area, chances are it might fall over. You want SS40. Really ultimately that's what you want. On a four foot fence, you might be able to get away with something such as an SS20, but unfortunately, if once you go to a six foot, I would recommend that you go to an SS40. So as you can see that there's still a little bit of a gap here. I think these are about 75%. Now, if you are wanting more of a visual blocker, there's some higher blocking slats out there and they're winged versions. So what they have is they have two wings on each end of the slat, so that way you are creating more of a 98% block. Obviously that's gonna have a higher wind load, even more than this. And I would recommend you put those in a nine gauge fabric and I would potentially recommend that you shrink your post spacing as well. Instead of going a 10 foot on center, consider going to a nine or an eight. And that's just another option if you have a chain link fence built with the appropriate materials to handle that kind of wind, or if you're looking to install a chain link fence, make sure that you actually invest in the meat and potatoes of that chain link fence to be able to withstand any kinds of winds. So as you can see, you can see everything I'm doing over here but you could probably still see me over here. You can still see a little bit of it, but you can't see all of it. As far as like birthday suit activities, this is not great. This is a little better. This is a little better. This is best. But really just trying to show you the things that you can do with the chain link fence. So there's a lot of people out there that just don't like the industrial look and they don't really want to replace it because it's a good fence and they don't want to throw it away. Maybe this is just another option to help you enjoy your fence just a little bit more. Uh, make sure and see all the links below for all the different slot types that we offer and we can drop ship right to you. If you're wanting to build a brand new chain link fence and you're wanting to put slots in that, make sure and watch that video right here where we walk you through all the steps as a DIYer how to build your chain link fence. Dan with SWI, we are Wyoming's fence and gate company. We hope you have a good dang day.